Hi, my name's Steve Ray from Makita UK and I'm here with UK Planet Tools and we're going to take a look at the new products launched in September. Now we're going to take a look at the brand new to the range jigsaw on the 40V XGT, which is the JV001G. It's the new jigsaw to the range, so it's the first one we've had in the 40V range, so it's been long awaited, but it's finally here. As you can see from the machine, it's got the body grip system rather than the D-handle. It has had some innovations inside it to lighten the weight, so it's much more user-friendly, easier to use, and it's been shortened down as well, so it's much more comfortable to use as a jigsaw. Features of the machine are, and what is so good about this 40 volt one is it now cuts with a jigsaw blade of 135 mil depth. So quite a good depth of cut on that for a jigsaw blade. And the stroke length on there is 26 millimeters. So a good couple of mil more than what you'd find on our mains or on our previous battery versions. So the stroke length and the length of the blade that we can fit on there makes this a much more efficient machine for when cutting. So it will remove a lot more wood a lot quicker when in action. The variable speed on the machine is done by the dial at the back, which allows us to adjust our strokes per minute from 800 up to 3,500 strokes per minute. But also with that variable speed dial, it does allow us to turn on and off the soft start function that this machine has. So with the soft start function, it will start the machine at half speed, even if you've set it at full speed. Once it's started cutting into the material, it will pick the speed up to full speed. Now, if you don't like that function, in the manual, it does tell you how to do it. Um, with the dial on there, we just roll it up to the highest, down to the lowest, it will blink with the light, and then that will mean that you've turned the soft start off on the machine, so it will just run at full speed straight out of the box. And you can turn the soft start back on if you require it on there. On the front of the machine, we've got our power on and our locking switch. So first off, we've got the locking switch at the top, which also, if you hold in and depress, will turn your LED light on and off. But if it's just to turn the machine on and off, we just push it once. That will illuminate the area to say that the machine is on and ready to go. And then we can use the power button to actually get the machine running. Once we've finished, we turn the power button off and then we turn the lock button on, which will then turn the LED light off, which will mean we can't use the machine now until we put that sequence back in action. So that's the lock on and off function. We then go to where we can put the blade in and out. Now that is toolless, so all we do is pull that cover round, that will release the blade and it is spring loaded so it will kick the blade out as well so that you don't have to put your hands onto a hot blade. And then when we want to put the blade back in, we just put the blade into the area, push it in and it will automatically click into place so it's ready to go. We then have our pendulum function there as well. So we can have our standard straight cut or we do have three different variations for the pendulum. So depending on what angle you want that blade to angle at and how much material you want it to remove will depend on whether you want it on one, two or three on the settings. Obviously three being the more removed material. Down on the bottom of the machine, we have a dust guard on there. So with that, we can fully adjust it over to the left or right, done by the thumb screw on there. Or if you don't need it for the application that you're doing, you can remove it so it is out the way. And then on the bottom of the machine where the base plate is, we do have a soft guard on there. So if you are cutting into anything that's delicate or can scratch easily, ideally you wanna keep this soft plate on and that will protect the material. And then if we just lift that, little clip at the back that will allow us to take it off so if we are using it just for rough cuts rough timber sawn timber we can take that off and it won't damage our non-scratch base it will just take some impacts on the base plate but that is solid metal so it won't damage it but if we are doing delicate areas we just clip that back on nice and easy slots on and it's ready to go so that is the jv 001 g on the 40 volt platform from Makita, available on UK Planet Tools website now.